good, Johnny. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I mean, I'm a bit tired, but aren't we all? What's it like to play buggy, Johnny? Great. <laughs> Is there any similarities between you and your character Boggy? One, we look the same. Two, we have friends. Three, we're a bit nerdy. There you go. What do you love about acting, Johnny? I get applause sometimes, which is amazing because I feel like, wow, that's... Or if someone laughs, I just... It's the lifting up feeling inside where you, you just know that your actions have been recognised and it's a special feeling that you can't really explain. Is it true you rehearse? It's true. One week of rehearsal before a ten week shoot. What do you do in them? We um, do drama games, acting exercises. Every year there are new people, so bonding exercises. Make sure we know everyone's names and then we go over the script for the last couple of days. What is the moment when you knew acting was the thing for you? What my big... I remember. I was at a drama club. I was enjoying it. I wasn't sure drama was for me. I knew I was a big acting person, but I wasn't sure it was for me yet. And then one day I played, I was about seven or eight, I think, and I played the part of the wizard in The Wizard of Oz. I saw people smiling and laughing and clapping and I thought, this feeling's the best. I need to keep on doing this because the feeling's great. These people are happy. They go home happy. And, I mean, that's probably why I still do acting, because I like being happy, and I like making other people happy, so it's a win-win. Win. Who was the one person you listened to? In life? In, in Jamie Johnson? In life? A bit of an inspiration? Yeah. I don't really have any idols. I've never had any idols, really. Could be family. Oh. I think, I know this sounds a bit weird, but I've always listened to myself and my friends because if you put yourself down, you're not really going to get back up again because the thing holding you down isn't some other force, it's the weight on your shoulders. And so if you try and push off that weight and listen to the, the hope inside you and the, your friends encouraging you, your family, even teachers might do anything really. It doesn't matter. Someone that really lifts your spirits up, makes you feel like a proper person, and just makes you feel like you can do anything, those are the people you listen to, because it's a personal goal, but it's also someone that you know cares about you and you need in your life. Your first sporting memory. Doesn't really have to be good. Yeah, I've got it. It's in my head. So, um, anyone that lives near Wicker Wanderers will know that quite often they go to schools and give talks about football and Wicker Wanderers in general. And sometimes you have the chance to win tickets. And my brother won tickets, for, four tickets for our family. And I must have been about five or six. And we went to the match. It was really empty, the stadium. We were right on the side of the pitch. And I probably... Of the 90 minute match, I probably spent about 10 minutes watching it. And the rest was facing the opposite direction, right in front of the players, flipping the chairs up and down in the stadium, which I think kind of shows my attitude to sport in general. Thanks, Johnny. It's been fascinating. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> <laughs>